Varsity here with head coach Brad Baker. Uh, coach, talk to us a little bit about your offseason and how it went. I think uh, our offseason really, went really well. Uh, you know, the, the loss, the playoff loss and how it all went down uh, motivated us to, to finish those reps in the weight room and run a little extra harder and make it, we had some more guys out here that, that were committed to, to taking the next step. So I think our offseason went really well. That's good. Now that playoff loss, man, we were really pulling for you guys, man. And uh, t Tell us what happened. Um, you know, we came down to about 45 seconds left. They had two timeouts left, so, so we had to, knew we had to run at least one play because we had had some special teams issues earlier in the game. And it was right. You can make a million excuses, uh, but the fact of the matter is we just didn't execute at the key uh, key point. And uh -huh. that's some of the things we focused on this all season, this summer, and this first week of practice. Great, great, man. I wish you guys would pull that out. Um, so you, you came here a few years ago, and the program was kind of down. Now you've go, got it going in the right direction. Tell us about the process and how, how you've turned it around here. Right. When I was hired here, the team had won one game the previous year. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there was a lot of issues going on. Uh, out of a, lot of people, a lot of people's control, and I came in and had mm -hmm. a great group of guys with me. Uh, these kids were hungry to win. Uh, they bought into some of the things we put them through, and they bought into the process, and they understand it's a grind. Uh, and they understand that there's steps we got to take. And uh, last year we turned the corner, um, yep. and st some of the things we've been preaching to them it came through and happened for them. We had a winning season, first time in ten years, and oh wow! And um, went to the playoffs for the first time in seven. So, yeah. You know, the, and now they've tasted that, and now it's motivated them even more. And you know, we just bought into a way the way we do things, and kids have bought in, coaches have bought in. It's it's a whole process that everybody believes in. Exactly. And um, I said in our video, we talked about you guys. The one thing I, that I love is you, you guys are, are physical. It's physical football. You, you hit people in the mouth and you take no names. How, how did you instill that kind of mentality? Uh, I mean, that's just, I, I was an assistant coach at Reedsville High School. Mm -hmm. uh, it's had a ton of success. And I've been an assistant coach at Mooresville High School where they've had a ton of success. And yeah. I've just kind of copied what, what those guys did, Jimmy Teague and Howe Caps. And I've worked for two, two of the greatest in the state in my mind and followed what they did. And I, I saw it work because yeah. I was a part of it. Uh, yeah. And I convinced these kids that no one's going to outwork us, uh, co convinced our coaches no one's going to outwork us. And that's, a, that's you know, we bring our lunch pail to work every day, and that's the way, the way we approach things. That's awesome, We're man. not pretty, but we get the job done. That's hey, exactly. So talk about some of your key players you got coming up for this season. Uh, offensively, we've got Emmanuel Wilson. He's going to be a junior running back. In my mind, uh, he, he's one of the best around. Uh, yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. Um, He's six foot tall, 215 pounds, and off the field, probably one of the nicest kids you're ever going to meet. But okay. when the ball gets in his hands, you know, he, he, he has a different gear that people can't see. And, and mm -hmm. if he can't outrun you, he's going to try to out, he's going to try to run over you. Uh, so he's, you know, he's going to be our featured back on offense. We have uh, four receivers returning. With okay. our two inside guys are, are both 6'4 plus, and that's Trey Turner and Yancey Harrison. Uh, okay. Two guys that are lean and can move and tall targets. Then on the outside, we got KJ Buford. Uh, is going to return as a starter. He's going to move into our Z role, uh, Z receiver role, and mm -hmm. Nairi Hardy, who's our speedster. We're going to get the ball in his hands a lot of different ways. Okay. And then our trigger man is Jalen Anderson. You know, mm -hmm. he's got a little bit of experience, and our offense is going to have a little bit different look. He's not quite uh, as mobile as Kendall Coles was, yeah. um, but he does have a cannon. We feel good about where we are. As the offensive line can uh, gel together. I think we'll we'll be pretty good there. And Great. Defensively. Great. We got Calvin McCullen coming back, kind of our uh, the heart and soul of our team. You know, he's he's a character and he gets after it. And, uh -huh. um, but you know, our defense feeds off what he does. Uh, and you know, he had 22 tackles for loss last year. Wow. And, uh, and you know, he's he's an exciting force. We got some linebackers back. That's probably going to be the strength of our team. Uh, Dan Tavian Bird is going to move from safety to outside linebacker. Okay. Uh, and our inside linebacker guys, and then Trey Turner and Yancey will turn around and play uh, defensive end. Um, and KJ will play defense. So we're, we've developed depth, uh, but we're not quite like some of these other guys. We, we get a first down or a touchdown, and we turn around and try to stop you and make you go three and out. It's a lot of the same kids. So, right. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's our mentality, our lunch bell mentality is, you know, whatever it takes to get it done, we're going to get it done. Well, that's great, Coach. And um, we're, we're expecting big things from you. I think you can get back in the playoffs and, and make a run. And uh, we'll be watching. Appreciate the time. Absolutely.